In a time when censorship is ever growing, it's never been more important for Christians to join together and protect our right to keep the doors open for the gospel. At ADF International, we envision a future where everyone is free to live and speak the truth. The inherent dignity of every person is championed and the good news of the Christian message resounds across the globe. At any given point in time, we have over a thousand cases and legal matters open all around the world, actualizing a strategic legal response to the great challenges facing people of faith today. Everyone says they want to change the world, and by joining our Amicus team, you will. Your financial support will become a lifeline to those punished and persecuted for their beliefs. Join us and discover how you can be the catalyst for change at adf.uk slash premier. Welcome to Be Still and Know. I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is our opportunity to hear what God is saying to us today. Nehemiah chapter 5 and verse 14. For the entire 12 years that I was governor of Judah, from the 20th year to the 32nd year of the reign of King Artaxerxes, neither I nor my officials drew on our official food allowance. I once heard about a military officer who took his men on an arduous training exercise. They were all carrying really heavy rucksacks which pushed them to their limits. At one point, they had to climb over a gate and the officer's rucksack split open to reveal that, although it appeared to be full, it was in fact empty, had no weight at all. In that moment, the officer completely lost the respect of his men and rightly so, he didn't deserve it. It's impossible for leaders to command respect unless they live up to the highest standards. In today's verse, Nehemiah points out that during the 12 years that he was governor of Judah, he lived an exemplary life. The previous governors had been very different, laying heavy burdens on the people, demanding not only a daily ration of food and wine, but also 40 pieces of silver. Nehemiah's credibility as a leader was founded on the fact that he never took advantage of the people. If you have the honour of being a church leader, you need to reflect frequently and carefully on the example that you set. Nobody's expecting you to be perfect, but people can rightly expect that you set a good example. That is to say, people should be able to look at you and get a good idea of what it means to follow Jesus. If you're not a church leader, it's important that you pray for your leaders and encourage them. Just like you, leaders are sinners and they're subject to the same temptations as everyone else. Pray that God will keep them strong so that their example will be a blessing to all who know them. Nehemiah's leadership depended upon his credibility and integrity and nothing has changed for us today. So let me ask you a question. In what way are you able to support the church leaders that you know? Now let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you for the gift of leadership. We pray for your blessing on all the church leaders that we know. May they stay so close to you that they'll always set a really good example. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. Or you might like to join the thousands of people who listen to this on podcast, which is available to you at any time. Thanks for joining me and may God give you a really great day. <music>